investigating whether the member from Labrador bought himself an election. Today we learn disturbing new uh, questions around donations that were made that all originate from the same corporate postal code. Now this member blew past the legal spending limits. I know he's reading the newspaper over there. Maybe he'll read about the $18,000 in flights that he buried. These flights represent an illegal corporate donation because they gave him an enormous advantage. So would he put his newspaper down, stand up, and explain his role in this? Secretary is the Minister of Transport. Or Mr. Speaker, uh, the uh, Honourable Member uh, has served this place with distinction. He is, he is, he is uh, his, uh, the new official agent is working with Elections Canada to resolve any outstanding questions. The member talks about five donations. Actually, it's 29 donations that his seatmate gave to the separatist party in Quebec. And I'm wondering, given that he won't answer the question as to whether he is in fact a federalist after all the donations, if the member would look to his side and ask his colleague so that he can report to the House whether he's sitting next to a federalist or not. Well, there you go, Mr. Speaker. We got one guy reading the newspaper and the next guy saying he doesn't really care whether the donations are legal or illegal. We're talking about illegalities here. We're talking about a man who broke the rules and then was promoted. We're talking about a campaign manager who was paid off with a plum patronage job for which he had absolutely no qualifications. Yeah, yeah. This Prime Minister promised he'd clean up that behaviour and he broke that promise because without any ministerial accountability it's become a revolving door of ethical violations. When will a member for Labrador stand up in this house and take yeah. accountability for his actions? Parliamentary Secretary of the Minister of Transport. Actually, Mr. Speaker, it was our party that instituted the ban on corporate and union money. It was our party that brought in those tough rules. It was their party that broke those rules in accepting over $340,000 in illegal union money. And it was their leader, current leader, who attempted to cover up all of that illegal money when we asked time and time again, when will they stop throwing stones when they live in such a fragile glass house?